That's absolutely. Okay. Well, let's talk about the, then the overall general uh, monetization strategy moving forward. Um, the, you know, so tell us what do we have in store there? You know, I mean, I think in general, we, you know, the monetization for us is, is, is actually a, a multi-pronged, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, strategy, right? You know, and I think this is actually, um, and I think when you think about the, the way that the Facebook audience network plugin was, is being offered, it's just one of many ways we think the, the you know, that, 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 that the, the, the company is going to generate revenue, right? I mean, you think, if you think about, um, you know, uh, the, the, the ratio model that's been employed, the ratio model is just one of, of many ways. We have Corona ads, which we're building right now. Uh, we have Corona ads as a, as a, as a kind of, a, a, in our mind, a simple way to get monetization in, into your app. Um, Facebook Audience Network is, is obviously going to be another one. Uh, we're also working on another, another, you know, whole host of plugins that are, we think are going to also enhance the ecosystem from where it stands today. If you look at what we have today in the ecosystem, you've got Bungle, AdMob, uh, but yeah, there's there's a couple of options there, and we think that there should be more. Um, and we think that there's a there's a combination of least how you, how you can how we can monetize, and while our, our, how, while our developers are also monetizing their apps as well. Um, so you know, for us, you know, the, and, one, and then there's also the notion of you know, obviously licensing fees, right? So you know, historically, historically, uh, Corona Labs has charged a license fee of some sort, an annual fee of some sort to use the platform. It was a venture-backed company uh, for several years, um, you know, operating on a license philosophy, and then at some point, it, it you know, obviously got purchased by Fuse Powered. Uh, which which essentially dialed down the whole license concept and you know basically made it free, uh, and I think that they were doing things in the right they were headed in the right direction. The, the the new models of of monetization are no longer as traditional as they used to be, where you just pay for something and you have it and you just use it. The new models are one where you actually are offering platforms for free, and uh, and then have developers adopt it, and you actually look at the developer as a partner uh, that can use your Platform to go do interesting things with, and hopefully, if they succeed with their with their uh, with their projects, you're able to see some orientation revenue as well. And so, a perfect example for me is um, uh, is you know you look at the IAP ecosystem today, um, and you think about Google and Apple. Um, both are uh, you know you, you have to have, you, know, you wonder yourself uh, you know they're taking thirty percent of your IAP. Uh, you're 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 charging a dollar ninety nine, and they're taking their sixty cents, um, and you wonder yourself, well, well, why? And the answer isn't just oh, because they're Google and Apple, they can just get away with it. It's this notion that you know we're going to give away platforms and then uh, and offer this you know and, and participate with you in the upside should you actually succeed. Um, further to that, you know, there's the notion that if you look about um, Ad networks, you know, today, believe it or not, ad networks are taking their their rev share, you know, from developers, right? Rev share developers are, um, you don't see it because you actually see the the net revenue post rev share split, but typically an advertiser is taking thirty percent as well. So, you know, the notion that the notion that there is a there, that, that that rev shares are are, are 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 strange is actually it's already baked in. You're already doing it today. You're dealing with rev share kind of models today. And, and it's and it's it is a trend in that direction that we think that when you think about the historical orientation of Corona SDK and what the future looks like, uh, it, it you know our thought is that that's the right model in the future. Um, and I know there's historical bias. I think there's historical bias in terms of okay, well, you know the license fees were the way they were, and the, the prices, you know, the the, the cost of annual license was what they what they were. And and we're we're supportive of the notion that 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 license should still exist because there are developers out there. Who at some point are going to say to themselves, "Well, it just makes more sense for me to pay X dollars um, and then, you know, kind of, you know, keep the upside for, for myself on, you know, in terms of my success, right?" So if I actually have an app that goes from, you know, 200, you know, 50 users to a million users to whatever the future holds, somewhere along the lines, you are able to look at it. You know, you're looking, you're looking at success and saying, "Hmm." Well, maybe now it doesn't make it makes sense to invest in enterprise, you know, kind of license, and then go build the extra piece that I wasn't willing to build in the beginning, but now can because you know I have I've seen the success. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm glad you mentioned the 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 uh, back end sort of rev share models. Uh, you know, the, the, where the ad network uh, has already kind of 
define what it will be. And then all the developer sees is, is the end result, the net net result you were talking about, you know, because yeah. with, the, with the fan plugin, that was probably the first time that uh, most developers had seen something up front, right? Where they actually got to see how things were, were, were uh, worked out. And, but, but most of the time they don't get to see that at all. So um, there's a little bit of a, a yeah, I mean, an awareness it's, it's, factor it's, here. Absolutely. I think, I think when you think about, um, you know, the, the, the notion of a rev share, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a question of how the pie is sliced up, right? I mean, you know, there's a, there's, there are other ad networks out there that may not expose the rev share, but they're taking, you know, a, a, a larger percentage of the, of the gross revenue. And you don't see that because you only see what you see in the dashboard. Um, and so it, it, it does, it can come, it, it does come across as off-putting because you go, Wait a minute. Why is why is Cronella SDK take, well, Cronella Labs taking taking some of my rev, revenue? And then on the flip side, we said to ourselves, well, you know, we, we think that we're we're enabling developers in, in a way that um, is conducive to success. Um,